yeah, it's been a successful day. We've uh, spent the whole day trying to uh, find places to get our autopilot repaired, and uh, we've given it to somebody, uh, as we've shown you in the videos. And now we are heading back to the boat with this beautiful sunset right behind us. Yeah. A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive yeah. Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it Somewhere I can find myself while the boat is on autopilot I'm sitting here keeping an eye on how things are going and uh, this is our lunch some sausages bread mashed potato aubergine salad cold water to drink some sauces and the chef <laughs> there's too much of rolling and pitching inside yeah so uh, two three things that I was supposed to make got missed out so we're making do with this well, that's okay. It's, it's it's excellent actually. I like it. I like this more than anything else. It's convenient. It's uh, healthy. It's refreshing. Yeah, the boat is doing five knots, four and a half, five knots. There's a bit of roll, but yeah, that's okay. Not much. So we reached Phuket uh, last evening, and uh, all night there have been uh, winds around gusting to 20 knots. And it's been a stressful night just ensuring that uh, you know the anchor doesn't drag or somebody else's anchor doesn't drag because there are so many boats at this uh, anchorage. This is Aushalong Bay, it's Phuket's main uh, port for check-in for yachts and it's also a place where a lot of tourists take their joy rides from. Anchor is holding well with the slubber. So we started quite early in the morning, uh, we secured the boat, then we took our dinghy, came to Aushalong Bay, then we walked to a shop by the road where we could rent a scooter. We rented a scooter and drove 22 kilometers to uh, this place where we have brought a forward looking sonar and both our uh, uh, course computers for the Ray Marine Autopilot. Uh, so just in a hope that somebody will probably be able to repair it because replacing the whole system is going to cost us quite a bit so let's see if uh, we can find some replacement here octopus electrical services in phuket uh, quite a few people have told us that this is a good place to get this kind of work done uh, let's see let's see how it goes uh, if this is a cost effective interim measure for us to get our uh, additional crew member back, the autopilot. Steering it uh, just by the two of us for long duration becomes quite hectic. In any case, we are walking around having a look at things, how things are in this marina. Uh, it's one of the largest. It's a fancy yeah. marina. Yeah, there are lots of things here. I mean, the maximum boat repair and spare facilities and infrastructure is around this marina. Yeah, it's been a successful day. We've uh, spent the whole day trying to uh, find places to get our autopilot repaired. And uh, we've given it to somebody, uh, as we've shown you in the videos. And now we are heading back to the boat with this beautiful sunset right behind us. Yeah. gas cylinder filled the easiest option is to call the guy he comes he takes a cylinder he returns it in four or five days and you're done but here we have to take a cylinder in the dinghy 
and find yeah. a place <laughs> to begin with. Yeah, we have to search look for a place. We found some online, uh, so we take it there and uh, hopefully get it filled today. Yes, come on, let's go. Simple tasks like provisioning, laundry, and refilling gas are very convenient at home. But while living on a sailboat, these same tasks need quite some planning. Like today, we put all our stuff in our dinghy, reached the pier, hitched a ride in a dodgy three-wheeler, found a bike for rent to complete all our jobs, and managed to squeeze in a quick lunch. So we are here at Aushalong Bay. We've uh, checked in day before yesterday. And uh, yesterday we received a weather warning from the Thai authorities saying that the winds are going to pick up and they're going to be 20 to 30 knots around this region for the next few days. Uh, so we need to move. The wind has already started picking up. It's around, I mean, probably the wind gauge is not working. So it's a, it, I think it's around 15 odd knots now. And by evening it will go to 20, 25. And then uh, we have just about 1.6 miles to go. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Okay. And uh, then look for a nice sheltered spot to uh, anchor and chill there for the next few days while we wait for our equipment to get sorted. In the meanwhile, let's keep a sharp lookout for boys and all. So there are a lot of boats around here. In the all these boats. Yeah. While the storm created quite some havoc in south of Thailand, it was a good decision to move to the protected bay. We were spared from the strong winds and high waves. Once we collected our course computer, we fixed it and we set sail to Kata Beach. We'll be able to make it before them. Keep the race! Keep the race! race. <laughs> we are racing with our favourite coconuts. <laughs> they don't know it's a race, just that we know it's a race because we are rushing to the anchorage before they reach there. <laughs> We are finally on West Phuket, west side of Phuket. That's the big Buddha there. And he's facing the Aushalong Bay where we were earlier. Now we have it back towards us. We only are at Genoa because it was a short sail. So after one week of sorting boat projects and successfully avoiding bad weather, we finally met up with our friends just in time for the New Year's Eve party. Hello. 